All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Compiz on your XFCE build with the Compiz GTK decorator, so you can switch your window trim. And yeah, I haven't been around. I've just been uh, burned out on making videos, but uh, I'm just going to make this one because some people are asking, hey, why didn't I put the Compiz on my xfce build well the reason i removed it because i was going to use this build to install on new linux users computers so um i didn't want the comp is getting in the way you know faulting things up so i just removed it and kept all the other software like chrome so i can install this real quick on someone's computer and it'll have chrome and all this good software that uh I normally use and basically some things that they use so anyway uh, let's get started here so the first thing you want to do if you have the Synapse package manager uh, you can use that or you can just do it out of the terminal you want to search for the comp is of course so search for that right there and you want to install this one right here and then it's going to also install a couple other things and then you want to install plugins the compiz plugins and you want to install compiz config settings manager so those three right there this one the plugins and compiz config settings manager then you want to search for meta city and let's see if I can find that one real quick here and this one right here and it'll probably install this other one below it install those right there and then you're done with that now you got to go into your folder as root and you can come up here and just go a sudo thunor like that and it's going to ask you a password I think I put the wrong password and now we got a root so uh you go to a system a user a share applications and where is it at here now here's what i did to make this one right here no not that one this one and i just named it comp is gtk decorator so all i did to make that one is i took this one and i made a copy of it so i copied it like that and then paste it again and it'll just make another one you'll see there and then I went into the folder here and changed the things in here and so I'll just show you the one that I changed and then I'll also right click on it go into properties and make sure permissions allowed to run as a program so let me just delete this one because we don't need that so that's how I made this one. So now let me just show you what I did in here. So I named it Compiz GTK Decorator and left all this other stuff and then put down here the execute. Uh, what is that? Slash bin slash Compiz dash GTK dash decorator dash settings. And then again, I think this one you can change it to. I changed it to that, but I think I changed that one going into properties here and changing it right here. I think that's where that one changes. So there's the that's where it's going to look in there. And then permissions, you got to click this one right here, allow this file to run as a program. So then you're done with that. And you, you I, the reason I copied the appearance because it puts it here in the appearance personal appearance right here because the comp is will once you install it it'll be there so it'll be right next to it in the system settings so once you have that done then you can just go into bin file system bin and right click and create a plain document just like that and you can name it uh, let's see let me just show you the one that I created so you're just going to create a plain text document and let's see that what I named this one was if I can find it here and see where is it at it's got to be in here somewhere there it is 
Compiz dash GTK dash decorator settings. So I just kept the name the same. And then you open it up with the mouse pad. And this little script here, I'll put this script below where you can just copy and paste that into your blank file. And then you're ready to go. So there's that script. You just put that in there. And so now that's done. And let's see properties, permissions, allow this program to run the run as a program allow this file to run as a program make sure that's checked just like that and so there that is oh and let me first uh i forgot to show you how to change the icon on the other thing application thing so once you got this finished here you can just click on this and you have the comp is installed you can click on this little icon thing up here because you want the icon to look like the comp is icon so i went over here all icons and then just searched for comp is selected that icon and there you go so then you got the icon to look the same so now uh, you got the comp is installed you got the comp is config settings manager installed and everything uh, installed so you might have to log out log back in to get everything to work and then you want to come into the comp is before you do anything before you actually start it because some of these things are select it that you don't need so the, just to make sure everything works you know correctly out of the box let's deselect all this other stuff let's select it and make sure only place window move window and resize window is selected and i usually come into the place window and put this as centered and then if you notice these things what's selected here if workarounds is selected unselected do not do not have workarounds enabled and so all those and then most of these i turned off uh, turned on the animations uh, add-on animations decorator window trim decorator and the wobbly windows you see that's working and then of course you can put the cube on rotate cube and most of these will be selected uh, let's see i think you can turn off it'll have the desktop wall or expo on just turn all those off just put it like this come in here to general options and you want to put this on because if you're going to want to use a cube you're going to want this on four and this on one in general options desktop size so that gives you the cube and then you can come into the cube um, do some tweaking in the cube the way it looks the appearance if you want the sky dome you know just depends on what you want about the cube transparency and let's see rotate cube rotate there's all those controls there and let's see i think it's control alt and drag with the mouse so there's the cube and it has the white top so let's see if you don't want the white top um i think that's um oh that's these here i usually put these on transparent so just drag those all the way down like that and then that makes it transparent that looks really good and if you want to back it up a little bit because it's a little bit too in your face then you can come over here and take this down to 20 or so backs it up a little bit you know let's see how 30 looks 30 it's a little bit further back 50 so there you go i kind of like either 20 or 30 and there's additional settings and if you mess with the settings and you get kind of um you know out of whack you just click this little x over here and it resets it all so that's how um pretty much i got to set up now if you want the burn if you like the burn you come into animations here's the burn here's where you can change the color and everything fire smoke and all that and the speed you can just come in here and again there's the little x's if you want need to put it back to default so to turn the burn on on menus and stuff like that you can come over here here's the menu so if i want it burn i'll come up here turn the burn on and let's see that's open and let's say let's put it on close to put it on burn and now when i do the menu there's the fire and let's see you can turn this up turn the duration up it'll uh have more flame as it uh, goes through the dura duration if it's longer 
So there's the fire, the burn. So now um, you got all the, uh, once you get it all set up, what you want to do before you have it fully start with your system, just to test it, uh, once you got it all set up, the comp is set up and everything set up like I just showed you, uh, go into your terminal here and put comp is slash slash replace and run that and the comp is should start working. And so if everything is good and all the comp is is working and nothing has a problem and you're good to go, then you can go ahead and put a startup. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. If you have a problem and you need to revert back to your XFCE Windows Manager, then put XFCE or what is it? XF Windows Manager 4 slash or dash dash replace and then go back to the XFCE Windows Manager and then you're going to have to figure out what's going on. But you want your comp is set up like this. Move window, you have to have move window, resize window, and place window. These have to be on for you able to move windows. Uh, work around gives me problems. I have that unselect. All of these other ones, I leave it like it is. I do turn off some of these right here. Uh, this Swift switcher is pretty neat if you want to use it as uh, next window for alt tab and let's see I think you can do that by turning that on and let's see next window putting this on uh, alt well, let's just grab it alt tab and so there's that and now if you want to get rid of that um, appearance let's see appearance I really don't like the reflection at the bottom turn that off I like it like that so there that is and you can just get in there and mess with the settings and see what you like you know once you uh, get into the comp is and start looking at all these settings and see what they do uh, you can start figuring them out but uh, as far as uh, just you know getting into it just have the settings like this move window resize window place window if you want to turn switch where switcher on turn that on Turn workarounds off, leave all these on like that. That's all fine there. And then window decorator, wobbly windows, of course, animation add on, animation. And if you want to 3D cube, and you know, you can just play with all those. And let's see, there's the cube and all that. And all this uh, really don't mess with. And then general options, desktop size, you got to have four for the desktop cube. So then you're done with that. So it's all working and everything. Uh, now you want it to start up. When you boot, you re, uh, uh, restart it or logged out, and you see your comp is config uh, settings manager in your system settings, and you see the GTK window decorator in there. Now, when you click on this, you can select your window decorator and switch it just like that. There's the Numix one. Let's see how the Numix one. And there's the default and of course there's the adapter and that's all be, wor be working so now you need a startup so you come in here to session and startup application startup and you make this right here it just says comp is you can name it whatever you want i just put comp is and then i put comp is space and then dash dash replace just like that and say okay and then so when you log out or reboot the comp is is going to start automatically and boot up and you're going to have all the comp is and everything so okay now the only problem that i had when i first started this one up my panel didn't start at the top uh, the panel at the bottom started so i just had to go into the system settings here and go to the xfce panel switcher and then select the default again and just reload it and it reloaded my top panel back up. I don't know why I did that, but if you have any problems like that with your panel not loading or uh, something like that, then you can just you're gonna have to you're gonna have to troubleshoot it yourself because I I don't know your system. So again, uh, that's all you have to do. And uh, let's see, user share applications. You can simply make this thing right here by copying the appearance one and then changing these things in it right here. Change the name and make sure it's uh permission allow 
run as a program and then go into their text editor here and change this right here to that or whatever you want to name it change the executable to bin comp is gtk decorator settings just like that and then change this one right here and that's all i did so there that is and then you put that file in the bin with that blank file you made which is called to see where is that one it was uh seemed to get lost with that one oh that's user bin bin and this one right here so this is the blank file i made and here it is in mouse pad i'll put i'll try to put that other one in the description below if it fits but i'll definitely put this one so you can just copy and paste it into your blank file and that'll make it easier for you to just save it and then you right click on it make sure that uh, this one is permission allowed to run as a program and then you're good to go so uh, let's see the other one i don't know if it'll be able i'll be able to uh, put that in the description below it's kind of big let's see how big it is if it fits if the, all this fits in the description below i'll go ahead and put it and then you can just copy and paste it in there but if it doesn't if you don't see it in there then it, that's because it didn't fit so all you have to do is do the changes that i showed you here in the video so there it is and you have comp is on your xfce with the uh, window decorator trim thing and it works really good there it is so there you go and the reason i didn't include it in the build like i said um because i was going to install because see i i couldn't get uh, the you know like uh linux mint xfce has the uh, desktop thing when you click on it, it says desktop settings and it, it it's a you're able to switch the windows manager and i couldn't get that to work correctly because i wanted to be able to turn it on and off but so then i thought well you know i'm going to be installing this on new linux users computer and i don't want them goofing with the comp is so uh, you can still just uncheck this and it, then it won't start it'll go back to the default windows manager but you know i just thought you know I, I don't need that hassle so that's why i just removed it out of the build so this video you should be able to install it and if you have any problems you know you, you want to do a test uh, by doing the what's it called um comp is uh space dash dash replace to see if it all runs good before you do a startup because once you do a startup you might fall into problems where you can't correct it because once it's you know starting up with your system start in here uh then you might have a problem getting to back to it and uh, or getting to a terminal that you can tell the xfce and windows manager to restart again so there you go i hope i didn't miss anything i don't think i did uh, use there's bin that file goes right there it's, it's just a simple blank document and then you paste that right there and there let's just go over it again and you make sure that's on uh allowed to run as a program of course you've got to do this in root uh, root uh, uh our root and then user share applications all i did was copy the appearance and then go into it and change this right here and then change this right here and change this right here and then right click on it properties permissions allowed to run as a program and then of course uh, change the icon to the comp is icon and then set up the uh, comp is like i showed you and then once it starts you're going to come have to come in here and select the, your theme whatever theme you want to use and you're good to go hopefully you won't have any problems so i guess i'm going to wrap this up here that's how to install comp is and the gtk decorator selector th tool on your xfce all right i'm out